From the shores of Alaska to the beaches of Hawaii, the ocean is full of plastic. Most of it comes from the items we use in our everyday lives. Got a Snickers wrapper, a little bit of a styrofoam plate. Yeah, here we go. A thousand miles off the coast of California, these scientists aboard the research vessel Algalita are finding thousands of pieces of plastic floating in the ocean. In fact, this part of the Pacific Ocean is referred to as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. You might expect a garbage patch to look like a solid island of floating garbage. In some places, the scientists can walk on the trash that's gathered together in large clumps. But most of the plastic is spread out over hundreds of square kilometers of ocean. Captain Charles Moore, founder of Algalita Marine Research and Education, has been on 10 expeditions to the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. And each time he visits, he says it's gotten bigger. I've found lines of trash, areas of trash, where you see high concentrations, maybe 10 pieces per square meter. These pieces have gotten larger over time and they've uh, become closer to the California shore. Where does all this plastic come from? Some of it can be traced to natural disasters, like the Japanese tsunami in 2011, which sent debris across thousands of miles. But a lot of plastic in the ocean comes from our sewer systems. When big rainstorms hit, water treatment plants become overwhelmed and discarded plastic floats right out to sea. But even if you don't live near the ocean, it's clear that the trash we produce is putting a big strain on our natural environment. Each day, every American throws out an average of two kilograms of waste, according to the EPA. That adds up to more than 700 kilograms of trash per year for every man, woman, and child in America. We might not be able to completely stop throwing our trash away, but each one of us can make a difference by following the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Reduce the amount of garbage you throw out. Next time you're thirsty, instead of buying bottled water, fill a reusable bottle with tap water. This helps to reduce the amount of plastic bottles used and the overall volume of trash. From us. Instead of throwing things out, reuse them, like shopping bags. In 2014, California made a law banning plastic bags from grocery stores. So shoppers had to bring their own bags from home or pay up. One paper bag is 10 cents. And recycle as much of your trash as you can. Put paper, plastic, and glass into the recycling bin. The EPA estimates that Americans recycle an average of 30% of their trash. Increasing that number would go a long way toward reducing the trash that's thrown away. By following the three R's, you can help reduce your impact on the environment. The crew is back from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Marine biologist Jesus Reyes shows evidence that plastic in the oceans is already working its way to the food chain. Every piece that we've collected almost had some sort of nibble mark on it, so we believe that a lot of these organisms, especially these fish, are eating these plastics. It's affecting the health of the food web in the ocean. We're putting the ocean on a plastic diet. That can't be good. It would be a huge task to clean up all the plastic that's floating out at sea. But there are a few things we can do to prevent our waste from getting there in the first place. Now it's your turn. With a partner, brainstorm five additional ways you could reduce, reuse, or recycle. Consider your activities at home, at school, and at events such as sporting events or concerts.